hey guys welcome to university of pattern drafting my name is umo so i recruited this style for a client with a few alterations she wanted the corset area as well as the long sleeves however she wanted the yoke of this other dress making this dress in less than 48 hours was so much fun and i filmed the process so here goes nothing guys okay guys so this is me i had drawn out the corset area i drafted drafted the pattern for the corset area i filmed the process so i tried to film the process however midway through filming a call came through and i lost the whole footage so to understand what i did here you need to follow the link in the description box to watch my tutorial on how i draft corsets okay so this is me drawing out the shoulder slant for the yoke area of my corset notice that the yoke area of my corset is with my corset so i usually draft it use my basic bodice pattern to draft out the whole thing okay so this is me um cropping off 0 0.75 inches from the edge of my shoulder because the shoulder width is really wide my sh the shoulder width i'm using is five inches and the client's shoulder measurement is 14 inches if i do not crop out this 0 0.75 inches it would keep dropping off the shoulder. the sleeve will be dropping off the client's shoulder so this is me doing the same for the back i'm cropping off the same 0 0.75 inches from the tip of the shoulder okay so i'm going ahead to find the look to locate the side seam of my corset because this is a corset and both front and back were drafted together i didn't take into cognizance the side seam the client's boss is 19 inches 19 divided by 4 is 9.5 inches so this that is what i have marked out here just to know where the arm side of my front and my back should meet just to know where the midpoint is okay so this is me trying to draw out the yoke area i had first drawn it out with pencil just so that i don't have to do too much on video and because i had a really short time i had to finish up this dress in 48 hours so i was really behind schedule okay so this is me that's the same five inches neck width i was talking about and so my the strap of my um dress is um i think about 1.5 inches okay so i'm going ahead to also draw out the neckline of the back which is the same five inches and i'm just going to connect that to somewhere at the top of the back portion of the corset guys okay so i've connected the points and please note that the yoke area of my corset is drawn with my corset i drew out a basic bodice pattern first that's basic bodice pattern where my front and back were joined together guys so it's not like i just created the corset and just randomly created a yoke like some other people do it would never really fit well if you do it that way it's better to just draft everything together so this is me just tracing it out and then i'm just going to go ahead and shade the yoke area of my corset pattern so this is the front portion of my yoke guys as you can see this is the front you can see that's where the cup is and this is the back here as you can see this is what i'm tracing out okay guys so that is my front and then that is my back okay so this is my skirt pattern the client the corset of my dress the corset area of my dress stopped at 17.5 inches so i'm starting my skirt pattern from 17.5 inches the client's length is i think 59.5 inches i'm going to add two inches to that just so it doesn't jump so i'm using 17.5 inches to 61.5 inches guys i hope this is clear so i'm just going ahead to draw out all my um, lines this is not a professional pattern because i'm not selling the pattern to anyone it's just for private use so i'm not going to bother trying to indicate whether it's unfold or where the green line is supposed to be and all that and all that because i had a really really short time guys this was i think this was i was already behind schedule so i had to really hurry up okay so this is me just drawing out marking my waist measurement sorry guys the camera cut out that part okay so please note that i'm drawing out the skirt pattern without any form of that i usually do not put that on my skirt pattern unless it is called for that is unless the disparity between the hip 
the client's hip circumference and the waist circumference is really large that's only when that's the only time i put um that okay so this is me uh, marking out one inch allowance for my side seam so the side the seam allowance on my pattern is one on my skirt pattern is one inch guys so this is me just tracing out every single thing with my french curve and then just trying to draw out my lines as smoothly as possible guys so i'm going to be using this same pattern for both fronts and back as i mentioned earlier this is not a professional pattern so i didn't bother trying to um draw out separate patterns for both front and back to watch my tutorial on how, how to draft a basic skirt please follow the link in the description box guys okay so I've drawn out my skirt pattern and then I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out on fabric guys if you have any questions about this process if there's something that's not clear to you please drop your um, questions in the comment section below guys okay so I'm going ahead to cut out all my pattern pieces so this is my corset pattern all five panels and then this is the cup area then this is my yoke area guys notice both fronts and back of my yoke pattern are together this is my sleeve pattern and then this is my skirt pattern and i'm going to go ahead and cut this out on fabric guys okay so this is me cutting it out on fabric the fabric is on the fold as you can see and i'm just going ahead to cut the exact thing on my fabric And then for my back pattern, I'm including 2 inches zipper allowance. So I've used my front to cut my back. However, I extended it by 2 inches at the zip area, guys. So the zip and slit area. So I have 2 inches all the way down. My camera cropped out the bulk of the show. But I think you should understand what I did here. And apologies for the um, blood images. This was, I think this was already 10 p.m. And the clients were still waiting for her outfit. So, guys. Okay, so this is me cutting out the corset area. And for my corset area, I used 3 over 8 inches seam allowance all around the whole pattern piece. This is not a professional pattern anyway. So, that is why I did not include the allowance on the pattern paper. So the same 3 over 8 inches allowance. And notice that I have 5 panels, guys. To understand what I did, you need to go back and watch my um, tutorial on how to draft corset patterns. So, and notice, guys, that I'm notching both um, underbust and waist points. Just so that I am not confused. And notice I am leaving the pattern pieces on the fabric. They are actually pinned to the fabric, guys. So I don't get confused. Because the pattern pieces are so similar. And I didn't have the time to start... I'm trying to decipher which was which and all that because I was working with a very short time frame. Okay, so this is my fourth panel and I'm cutting it with the same 3 over 8 inches um, seam allowance. And I'm going to do that for my fifth panel as well as go ahead and notch all my pattern pieces. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut the fabric for my cup area. Please notice that my fabric, my I have four layers of fabric right there. And this is the cup area, same 3 over 8 inches allowance. The only difference is that the midpoint of the cup um, pattern, I used one, this point I'm pointing at, I used 1 over 8 inches seam allowance, guys. While the other part is 0 three over eight inches seam allowance and then please remember to notch your bust points this is really important same one over eight inches allowance and then three over eight inches at the other points so i'm going ahead to notch the top as well as the bust points so that i don't get confused okay so these are all my pattern pieces 
and then i'm going ahead to cut my mesh fabric okay so i'm cutting i'm using a mesh fabric for the yoke area notice that the stretch is on the horizontal side guys along the body circumference so ensure that you place your pattern correctly so you don't have issues okay so this is me cutting out without any form of allowance guys this mesh fabric is going to stretch on the client's body so we don't need to include allowance so that it would be firm on the client's body without any um, creases and all that and all that and note that i have four layers of mesh fabric guys four layers of mesh fabric and i'm going to be using note that um, my front and my back pattern pieces are still together guys i did not divide my pattern paper so everything is cut together this is for both front and back guys and you can see the labeling on the pattern paper you can see front and then the back is the other side and you can see the arm side can you see it's joined at the arm side so the armhole area is not separate okay so this is me still cutting out without any form of allowance guys so and i have four layers of mesh fabric right there because i'm using the mesh to line itself okay so this is it i have joined my mesh fabric i since i'm using them to line each other i turned them against each other and i cut out the um, seam allowance so that the seam allowance is very little and then i ironed it so that it is really neat so this is the cup area i've gone ahead to cut my lace fabric for both pieces i went ahead to cut out my lace fabric also for the corset area and then i ironed fusible interfacing to the red satin lining this is for the facing the facing for my um lace area that's where the for the back area where the lacing the loops will be okay so this is the lining for my corset area i'm using the red satin fabric to also line and i ironed this with fusible interfacing too so this is me joining my um, corset pieces note that i try to label them so that i don't get confused so joining out joining all of the five panels together i'm going to do this for the lace and then go ahead and do that do the same for the lining so notice i'm joining every single thing and i'm going to join it as a whole to my skirt um area so this is me joining all of these guys i had to um hurry up with this because the client was still waiting for me and i had to hurry up so i couldn't really um um show what i was doing or try to talk or anything i just filmed the person silently okay so this is me still joining my pieces and i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for my lining as well before i join the skirt area and Oh, so once i'm done with this this is me joining the cup area guys notice i left the pattern paper on the um pieces so that i do not get confused so i'm just joining with the same thing over eight inches allowance i use the red satin to also line the cup area this is the um satin for the cup area and then this is the main um, lace area which is going to be at the front of the dress so guys if you've enjoyed this video thus far please make sure to subscribe to this channel because i'm going to be posting a lot more content like this and i think this should be really helpful to everyone who watches it also if you have any questions or you need me to um, explain a particular process please make sure to drop your questions in the comment section and i would uh, make sure i answer as soon as i see it Okay, so this is that's the facing for the loop area of the corsets, which is the back of the corset that I'm using loops for. So I also turned that. This is the lining area, and I'm joining the lining pieces together. So once i'm done joining them i'm going to go ahead and iron the seam open the seams open guys it's so important to iron the seams open because i'm still going to fix boning i'm going to be using regeling um, boning for this corset so you need to first press the seams apart 
so that I have a flat um, surface to sew my regenerating bone into. So seeing as this process was, you know, took quite some time, I had to um, split this video into two so that I don't have um, too many. So the fi file is not that large. So guys, you need to follow the link in the description box to watch the concluding part. Okay, this is me hemming the lower part of the skirt, of the satin for the skirt part of my dress. And I went ahead to also mark the one inside seam allowance that I left for the um, skirt area. So I'm going to join the skirt by the sides. And then leave the zipper area open, guys. I hope that is clear. And then I used... Um, lining this is my lining this is you can use either abba lining or suits lining i used abba lining to line aside from the red satin fabric i used to line i also used abba lining to line the skirt area of my outfit so guys this is me um joining the sides of the abba lining joining the abba lining by the side so i did the same thing i did for the main fabric on the abba lining so this is me joining it with the same one inches by the side I've, this is me hemming it first and then i'm going to go ahead and join it by the sides the same one inch and then i'll do the same for the lace and the satin fabric that i had pinned together guys so i hem i sew them separately because it's much neater that way so this is the abba lining i'm joining them together with the one inch by the side as you can see and then I'm going to do the same thing. I, I think I've done the same thing for the skirt part, guys. Okay, so guys, thanks for watching. Follow the link in the description box to watch part.